Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the IE Geek portable video player. They did send me this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. If you're interested in finding out more about this product, the link to it will be in my video description below. Please go ahead, check it out, do your shopping from there. Here's how it comes packaged to straight from Amazon in a really nice retail box, showing you on the front side what the product looks like what its function is, portable video player, swivel screen, and rechargeable battery. The back, we have two different colors you can see there. And so now, without anything else to do, let's go ahead and open it up. Here are all the package contents. First up, we have a really nice remote control. We have a quick start guide for you, your wall mount power supply, your RCA video cable, and a cigarette power lighter. We have the purple option right here. They also have black. You can refer to that link below for more information on the color choices you have. Then we can open this up right there and see the actual DVD player itself. Let's work on getting the plastic off and powering it up. Got the plastic off the DVD player. Everything looks great. You can see the screen is bent back all the way 180 degrees. This also swivels 270 degrees. We have a full range of controls right here for everything we could possibly need to do. Then we can open up the eject slot right here as well to put a DVD in. Want to show you guys that screen again. So there it's shut, there it's open. We can swivel it right to there and we can swivel it all the way back around to there as well. Then we could push it down if we want to use it with their headrest adapter, which we actually have right here. So we're gonna show you how to do that in the car as well so you can set this up. If you're interested in this product too, that link will be in my video description below as well. Now we can go back here, plug in some of the power cables and actually set this up. You can see we have a wide variety of ports right here. It supports USB up to 32 gigabytes. Same with the SD card slot. We have your auxiliary headphone jack, an AV out, an AV in, your power on and off button, and then your power port right there. Let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try to play something off an SD card and through the DVD player. I'm back here guys with the DVD player powered on. I've inserted an SD card already so we can see how it reads the files. This does support CD, MP3, DVD, and JPEG. So I actually have an MP4 video right there from a Digital David review, so we're gonna try to play that anyways. And then I have a JPEG image for us to view as well. So using the remote control, I'm gonna to navigate to the correct one. So we're gonna push this video file and see what it does. There we go, it's playing it like an MP3, which is cool. So you'll be able to hear the audio. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today I'm gonna to be unboxing and reviewing the Lumary Smart Switch for single pull. Now we can go back and look at the JPEG right there. So it's decoding the JPEG. There's the image, that's really cool. Really neat that you're able to see it on there. Then you got a nice preview as well right there. So that's really cool. Now let's go ahead and let's play a DVD. So I'm back now, I have a DVD inserted and we're at the home screen. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear the DVD being spun around. It's pretty quiet, but you can hear it. I also have the volume muted for the home screen, but we'll go ahead and unmute it. So you can hear it right there as well. It's really simple and easy to use either the buttons on the physical media player or the included remote control. I really like how this fits in my hands. So a little bit more about this actual DVD player right here. We have a five hour battery, the ability to mount it to a car. It has video in and video out. We have that awesome swivel screen as well. It also has the built-in USB and SD card slot storage up to 32 gigabytes. Like I said, since it does have video out, you could plug this into your TV with the included cables. I would like to see HDMI in the future. I think that'd be a little more useful, but most TVs still have the legacy RCA devices for you. It does have subtitle functionality as well if you wanna turn that on or off. It has a resume feature too, so if you're playing something and you shut it down and then you turn it back on, it will be back where it last left off. And it has that anti-shock feature. If you're using this to travel a lot, you don't have to worry about bumpy roads or anything like that. Now let's go ahead, let's open up 
the car seat mount and work on getting that installed. So I got the headrest mount opened up right here. It looks great. It's got two clips on the back right there that will mount securely to your headrest. Then we got a little Velcro slot right there that opens up so you can slide the DVD player in there. So again, you'll want the screen all the way back like so, and then we'll stick it right in there. So let's go out to the car and set this up. Installation was really simple. You can see I actually made an X around the back to give it a little more stability on this headrest right there. Everything else was easy. You just buckle the clips right in. You can see how I have it below. Here it is on the other side. Everything looks great and fits great. Now we can go ahead and put the DVD player inside of it. Got the DVD player powered back on. Look at how great it fits in here. I love how stretchy this is too. This really stretches so you can easily get it in and out. Then you just Velcro the top and everything is good to go. Here it is from the side. You can see you can access all of the ports. It is covering the USB port right there, but you can just move it out of the way. Same for the power port right there below. So everything is still accessible and easy to use. So you just watched how easy this is to install in the car if you get that headrest adapter, which can be purchased separately. The link to that is in my video description below. I want to spend another minute just showing you guys the remote control. So you can see all the features on there. This does have subtitles. You can use English, Spanish, or French subtitles depending on your DVD, which is cool. And it has built-in anti-shock features. If you're on a road trip, there's a bumpy spot in the road or something, it won't stop playing it. If you power it down or turn it off and turn it back on, it'll resume playing at the point it last powered off at, which is also a great feature. You got that five hour battery, you got the built in USB and SD card support up to 32 gigabytes. So it's really a great player. You can also again use the AV out ports as well. I wish it had HDMI, I think that would be great. It would also be cool if this had a touch screen, but I know that that would increase the price point as well for the portable. DVD player, but it looks really great. Love that swivel screen. The purple color is pretty cool too. There are a couple other color options as well, so be sure to use those links below. I really appreciate you guys being here. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel. I can't do this without you guys being here and interacting with my content. I also have new content coming out daily, so please be sure to subscribe and follow me on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can message me on WeChat. Check out my website and join my free newsletter. Don't hesitate to reach out with any questions, comments, or concerns. I'd be happy to answer them for you or point you in the right direction. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.